pretty fun today. Um, a lot of a lot of team today. Um, a lot of high flying from everybody from both sides of the defense and offense. Um, just a lot of work got in today from both sides. Tell us kind of how you're feeling. I know the last two years you've dealt with your fair share of injuries and trying to get back into the lineup consistently. So kind of how have you been managing that and getting rehabbing through injuries? Yeah, um, you know, like last year I broke my, my thumb three times last year. So, um, you know, it's been good. You know, Oklahoma State does a good job, like especially the training staff. Um, they're always with me and stuff like that, getting me back healthy. Um, I feel great um, going into this season. Um, I feel like spring has been good um, for everybody. So, yeah. From a physical standpoint, how much bigger are you? Or, or what are you weighing and um, so forth? I'm pretty much almost like the same as last year. Um, I was like around 200, 205, so that's where I'm pretty much the same as I was last year. Uh, yeah. From a mental standpoint, how going through what you went through last year has made you stronger? Oh uh, yeah, you know, um, especially like doing what I went through. Um, just know, just know, like your time is coming. Just realize, um, you know, just while I while I am hurt, um, you know, just always encouraging my other teammates. Um, like I don't really like dwell on like what was going on with me. I was just more like. You know, just trying to work on with my team and just focus on the season because I didn't want my injury to like have an effect on them because like that was my thing. So I wasn't trying to make it more about myself. I was just more like, uh, we're gonna like even my teammates like we we're all gonna get through this together. Um, even like if they weren't injured, like they always had my back as well. So they really pushed me and helped me get through what I was going through. It's kind of a new look room with some familiar faces, yourself included. But now that you're entering your your third year, kind of what is. Do you, are you kind of embracing a leadership role, a veteran role, and kind of how are you mentoring younger guys uh, in that role? Yeah, so like I, I had to step up this year because um, we did lose uh, quite a lot of guys. Um, but it's like I say, like the older guys in the room are um, Brennan Presley, and then Rashad Owens, and then those like the veteran guys, and then I would be right under that. So it's just us. Oh, and Blaine Green. So it's really it's really us for um, more like in the leadership role. Um, Cause we're all, I'm not gonna lie, we're all like pretty young. Um, so we, we do like all good job of like leading. Um, everybody like usually all like says their one word, but we, we all lead together in, in a sense. Being, go ahead. What are some of your early thoughts on the new guys? Oh, it's great. Um, Strib, Arlen, Leon, uh, those guys are great. Um, I'm glad they're a part of our team. Um, I actually knew, uh, I'm tripping. I knew Arlen, I knew Arlen uh, from like high school cause he was, uh, he was also friends with one of my best friends growing up in high school, so I already kind of knew of Arlen. And um, you know, just once once I heard those guys were coming, um, you know, just got in contact with them. It was just like getting to know them because, well, like you got to have teammates, um, you got to have that relationship in order to go far along in the season. So yeah, it's, it's great to have those guys here. Did you help recruit Arlen then? Uh, yeah, yeah. I had talked to Arlen a, a while. Um, Strib, Strib had actually went around like during the bowl game he had committed um so he was up there during our bowl game so just hanging around him the whole time during the bowl practices and everything that it was just great to have him around so he was getting early acclimated um during that time so it was just great to have him yep. talent seems to develop physically a lot yeah. as well what have you seen from him so yo talent's been great um you know last year um playing as good as he did and then he you know he's just ready to build and grow onto this year um he's really hungry um, Y'all see, he's been working in the weight room. Uh, he's big, uh, strong, physical. And yeah, I, I just know he's ready to work and have a great season. How much does the change on the defensive side with Coach Nardo and what they're doing over there help you become better? Because now you guys are seeing a lot of different mm -hmm. stuff in practice and what you've seen in your career so far. Yeah, um, honestly, it's really great. Um, you know, just seeing that new defense, it makes you, it makes you really think about what's going on. and. Um, just makes you, like I, like I said, just makes you think about what's going on before you do. Um, you got to really read the defense because if you don't, they could, that could throw off your whole route and um, it can have you stuck somewhere. So um, having Coach Nardo and what he's bringing in here is great for our guys. Um, it seems like the defense is really loving him. And I really like him, uh, what I've seen so far. Um, he's really a nice guy and a great guy, always talking to everybody. Um, offense, offensive too, just always making his trips and uh, making sure everybody's doing OK. But yeah, Coach Nardo has been great. Yourself, Brennan, uh, and Blaine. Uh, Rochad, you know, kind of veterans and mm. still relatively young, though. How I don't know if challenge would be the right word to describe it, but what have been some challenges that you've kind of had to face getting into a veteran leadership role? Whereas, you know, just really, yes, like last year, you could have been one of those young guys listening. Oh, mm. uh, yeah, so like me, I'm, I'm pretty quiet. I don't, I don't really talk that much, and I pretty much stay to myself. So, uh, like even like even like in team meetings, I wouldn't be always like in that front row. But like this year, um, I, don't know, I have to sit in that front row and actually lead and lead by example because the younger guys coming in, they might not know everything, so they, they look at me for questions and stuff like that. And um, I would be wrong if 
they come to me for an answer and I don't have it, especially looking up to me as a leader. So um, just always just always sitting in that front of the classroom or just always being ahead and uh, being the one that's answering the questions um, if they have any. In but, addition, sorry. No, you're really, yeah, in addition that. to those kind of, how are some other ways that you're leading by example as you're still trying to figure out how to be a real leader for these guys? Um, you know, just like, I don't know how to explain that. Uh, weight room maybe? Yeah, like in the weight room, just always, just always having high energy, um, encouraging everybody who's around me because um, we, don't, we don't really want any negatives going on. So just always being high energy, um, you know, happy to be here. Um, like Co Coach Gundy says, like once we're like at the football facility, like we're on football and if your mind's not there, um, you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be here if you're, if you're not focused on what, what's going on at the task that's going on at that time. So, you know, like while, while we're in the football facility, like we're always locked in. Um, so yeah. For you, what was it like during the off season when you have all these guys in your wide receiver? What was it like for you? Oh, I mean, I mean, it was great because uh, we're, we're getting better. We're getting better. Um, you know, if we lose people and we got guys that want to come in and um, you know fill those positions, um, I couldn't, I couldn't be more happy. Um, it's good competition. It's always good competition. Um, I rather, I rather somebody be good and pushing me to be better than somebody that's not like working and they're just letting me stay complacent. So it's great to have those guys in there because they're always pushing. Um, in the receiver room, I feel like we're in the receiver room, like we're all we're, we're really connected. Um, there's really never no bad energy in that room. Uh, everybody's like, if anything, like if we lack at something, we can always look at somebody else um, in the receiver room to like coach up on and be like, okay, he's doing that. Hey, bro, what are you doing in this situation? Because I'm not doing it right there. So it's it's always great um, in the receiver room. I'm not, sure if already, oh, I'm not sure if you've already been asked, how tough was last season for you just kind of wanting to have a bigger role, expecting to have a bigger role, and it's kind of the ups and downs of everything? Uh, I mean, it, it, was, it was hard, but at the same time, like, I kind of had an understanding, um, like, it is what it is. Like, um, if if I didn't want to play, I would have, I would have, after I had broken the, the, I wouldn't have played, I would have set out the whole season, but um, I just wanted to be there for my team. Um, so of course it was hard like going through that but at the same time like I had I had the encouragement from like everybody around here and um, just lifting me up so they made it way more easier. Was there a little bit of a silver lining in that even though no you weren't healthy you did get to get some game action a little bit of practice mm -hmm. and still maintain that red shirt? Yep so yeah it was like that's what it was like I had talked to coach uh, Dunn uh, he was with me the whole way you know um, just telling me what like what I should do and um, just leading me in the right direction because um, at the same time, I like I wanted to play for the in the season, and also like the coaching staff wanted me to play as well. So um, just in practice, like I wouldn't be doing too much to like get injured in a sense. But like when it was time for a game, um, you know, it was like time to put your pants on and play. So um, can't really control that. <laughs> but it was fun. It was great. Um, it was, I, I enjoyed the, every bit of last season, um, even though I was injured. It was still great to be a part of it. You mentioned Stripling and Arland earlier. What on the field have you liked from those guys so far just in the first couple mm -hmm. weeks of spring ball? Ar Arland's really twitchy and fast. Um, he runs great routes. He can get out of break really fast. Um, I feel like he can run. I feel like he's like a really good route runner. Um, Strib, strong, physical guy. Um, just throughout this like first six practices, seven practices, um, he's got plenty of pancake blocks and um, plenty of touchdowns as well. So he can, he's not scared to block and like he takes he takes every part of the game pretty serious. Um, you see that today he had that catch in the end zone, um, got one foot in there. So yeah, it was great. It's great seeing those guys work. What about uh, Leon Johnson? Oh, uh, Leon! Leon's a monster. Every go ball, I don't think I'll, I think he might have dropped one go ball out of like seven we've thrown to him. So he's just a monster out there. Big guy, taking long strides. Um, good route runner as well. And, like I'm so proud we got those three guys. So they're gonna help us win ball games this year. Seems like, like having oh. good. What's it like having, having Blaine back there? Yeah, it's a great uh, Blaine because y'all know he had, he was at uh, tight end uh, the past year, but um, I'm like towards like the freshman year, even like when we got started, he was their receiver. But it's good seeing him back out there. Uh, anyway, like I know anywhere Blaine is gonna be, he like he, he can play like that's like he's like a Swiss Army knife in a sense. You can literally put Blaine anywhere, and he's gonna he's gonna be great. If you need him to go in there and dig out those big tackles or even get them big linebackers, he'll go in there and do that. And if you need him to route somebody up at, at the wide receiver, he'll do that. So it, it's honestly great, really having him back this year. He's going, to, he's going to be great for us this year. Sounds like you've got some guys you mentioned Stribling and, and Blaine's obviously not afraid to, to block. No, no, they're not, block, mm -mm, they're not afraid at all. Um, it's one thing like at the receiver, but we have to block 
we have to block this year. So yeah. Yep. So kind of going back to your mentality when you were injured. I don't mean to keep hampering no, on you're that, good. but. You, know, you talked about the, the reception and the help that you got from the team. Kind of tell me what it was like from your family and your friends. How did they kind of uplift you? And then yourself, just some things that you told yourself, like, okay, you, know, you can't weigh, weigh, weigh yourself down too much and stuff like that. Yeah, like, um, my, my mom was just more in a sense, like, I'm, I'm the youngest, so I'm like, I'm her baby. So she was, she was like, she was kind of like scared and like nervous, like, oh, you keep breaking, you keep breaking your thumb, you keep breaking your thumb. Um, like, I, I, she didn't really want me to like play. She just wanted me to be healthy and just make sure I was okay. And, and then, you know, my dad was kind of like in the, in the same sense as, in a way. But um, in the end, it, it was it was all my decision. Um, they were like, "You're you're grown. This is this is your career. Um, I'm gonna follow whatever you're, you're like whatever you're comfortable comfortable with." So they they were great. Um, even my two my two sisters, uh, they're great. They're always because they're both nurses. So after the game, like even when I would talk to them, like they would always just be checking up on me. Um, so it, it was great to have all the support they did. Um, yeah. Did they ever grill you with questions about, okay, so what's your injury? And then trying to figure out how, how they could potentially <laughs> yeah. help you since yeah, the nurses. Yeah, so it's my sister. Um, they would always look at it, especially like before, like, especially like when it had first just happened, like I would just tell them, like, oh, my thumbs, my thumbs hurting and stuff like that. And they'll look at it. And um, they were like, oh, yeah, we can obviously see something. But yeah, and then the staff did a great job here as well. So, yeah. They're in January. A lot of you guys were leaving. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, what, what were you thinking? Um, what was your mindset? You know, I wasn't really like focused on like like why they were they were leaving. I could like really only focus on what what I had going on. Um.